Let's talk about your VHF radio, which is your best port in the storm. Like you pick that thing up and you ask for help. Everyone with a VHF radio is going to hear you. Now with AIS, everyone's going to see you where you are. If you've got a AIS transponder, you can even track. Your family can track you if you've got AIS. That sounds a bit scary. But if you're doing a longer voyage, and you can link them into it. God forbid something goes wrong and they go, oh, they're not there. And you said, if you can't see me half a day, I need you to call someone. You have an EPIRB number, and that number is registered with in Australia with AMSA, Australian Maritime Safety Authority, so that when that signal goes off, the information in that signal, including your emergency contacts, next to kin, the name of the boat, the size of the boat, the vessel, all that sort of stuff, that comes up on the screen like bing. Yeah. So EPIRBs, VHF radio, best port in the storm, get your VHF radio license. Like It's really easy these days. It's just not... It's a Take the family, make an event of it. Instead of going to a movie, go get your VHF radio operator's license. You do need a license to operate the VHF radio. But look, at the top of maritime safety is a very simple clause. You must make known of your predicament by any means at your disposal. So you know, even if you don't have a license and you, you call for help, they're not going to go, oh, no, 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 you, you don't have a license. You're not allowed to call for help on this channel. 